Hi, I'm Charla King. I'm the founder of Joy Catchers. Our mission is to bring joy to adults one tree at a time. These are the stories of some of the charities that receive our trees. Hi, I'm Katherine Jonas and I'm the director of the uh, Wise and Healthy Aging Adult Day Service Center. We're headquartered in downtown Santa Monica. Wise and Healthy Aging has been around for over 40 years. It's an agency that's completely dedicated to serving the older adult population. And we have a variety of programs in Santa Monica for older adults. We're dedicated to serving the older adult and really fostering independence, dignity and quality of life. And that's really my main goal as the director of the Adult Day Service Center, is that these individuals who come to us with any level of memory loss, that we maintain their dignity, their independence and their quality of life. And that is where Joy Catchers comes in, in, into play. We, um, we blended forces, if you will, with Joy Catchers during our holiday season. And so what's wonderful about Joy Catchers is that they're able to come in and they actually come onto our property and they bring these incredible trees with them and all the decorations for our clients to decorate every year. This is something that our clients really look forward to. It's something that brings them happiness. It's something that adds to their overall existence of who they are. Our clients um, that attend during the day, and especially during the holiday season, which were very popular during that time, everybody there gets a tree, which is really special. So rather than identifying certain people, everybody gets a tree, everybody gets to decorate their own tree. So everyone has this, I'd say, this wonderful creative experience with their tree. And you know, everyone has that same opportunity, so it's wonderful. We love it. My name is Carrie Bramlin, and I am a recreation specialist for the Department of Veteran Affairs in West LA. I've been with the VA for 29 years, almost 30 years, and I work with donors that want to do something for the veterans, anything to benefit veterans. And, you know, that kind of goes along with our our mission statement of serving America's veterans through with dignity and compassion and improving their health and well-being and that is exactly what we do with Joy Catchers. I can't believe it's been five years. It seems like just yesterday that uh, Charlotte contacted me. Each year we find a new location in addition to uh, the many different areas that Joy Catchers delivers the trees to. Actually they deliver them to me and then my driver Take them, we take them in, in uh, vans and get carts and have a contact person and deliver it. I mean, it's almost like a whole day's uh, process, even a couple days. I mean, to me, Joy Catchers is an organization that provides joy to veterans, especially during the holidays. If we didn't have them, I mean, I think it would be something that we certainly don't have the funding for to do. So I, I would think it would be, it would be greatly missed. It's amazing that something so small, you know, something not giant, but so small can brighten someone's room and, you know, make them smile. Joy Catchers does exactly that. They are a very giving and generous organization. They're sending the veteran a message of love. My name is Dadisi Elliott, and I'm currently a community activist and a volunteer. I'm working with Charla King as a um, volunteer with Joy Catchers. I met Charla, and it was a wonderful day when I met Charla. I was actually, at that time, I was working with uh, New Directions for Veterans. New Directions is a residential treatment facility for veterans who have mental health issues, substance abuse, or co occurring disorders. And so we thought it might be great to bring this activity to as a new type of service that was not so much treatment oriented, but also would help with their self-esteem and their interactions with each other. Joy Catchers kind of throws people because it's like, wait a minute, how does this relate to my substance abuse? How does this, I'm not, I don't have to tell my story about how I was homeless, you know, and this is just like, 
hits them in another place, you know, in, in their soul, you know, and uh, reminds them of what it means to be, you know, part of a community. When people are in a position or, or shown that they, no matter what has happened to them, you know, it's what they decide to do about it today, that they also have the ability to, to give and to help someone else. You know, that just raises people's self-worth and self-esteem. You know, that no matter what my circumstances are, I still have the ability to help somebody else, whether that's just a smile, that's in a handshake, that's in acknowledging somebody, that's in saying good morning, that's in making a treat for a total stranger, and you expect nothing back from that. Just the fact that you know you caused joy in that person's life for that moment, you know, that that has a residual effect that I'm, now I'm feeling joyful and grateful that I was able to create that with somebody else. So um, that's, that's the legacy that I hope that continues it, with veterans programs like New Directions and U.S. Vets. Hi, my name is Julia Forth. I'm the Executive Director of the Cancer Support Community Benjamin Center. Uh, we were founded in 1982. We have free of charge services for anybody affected by cancer. That means patients and their families. Uh, we have psychological support, group support, individual counseling, mind-body classes, education, social activities, everything that the doctors are not able to do, that's what we do. We take care of the whole person and the whole family. We, we use the joy catcher trees at our holiday parties and at parties that, that parties in general because part of our program is about socializing because people with life-threatening illnesses there's a lot of stress and they tend to isolate themselves so we like to create really fun social activities for people to be a part of and that's where joy catchers comes in when when we have our holiday parties and she brings in these wonderful trees what we do is we there's not enough to go around because we have 80 to 100 people at these parties but what we do is we raffle them off and it's really great for everybody Re everyone really loves them they do spread a lot of joy the the spirit underlying our mission is that no one should face cancer alone and our founder dr harold benjamin one of the tenets of his philosophy is that csc combats unwanted aloneness because unwanted aloneness is a very special category. It's not that you want to be alone, it's just that you're so overwhelmed with anxiety and stress that you're creating this aloneness and this isolation. And I think bringing some of that joy with those trees and that connectivity to families and to who they are as people, not just as cancer patients or as cancer survivors or as people who are facing cancer, but as people and reminding them that their life is bigger than just that, I think is really important. My name is Leon Peterson. I'm a Vietnam veteran. I am an alumni of New Direction, as a matter of fact. I finished the program after 15 months at New Directions, and uh, since I've left New Directions as an alumni, I've been coming back and giving back all the time. Over the, the period of time that I was at New Directions, uh, joy catchers came along. I met Sharla came out and met, uh, a supervisor there that's an advocate and uh, he told came to me and talked to me about it and told me he said yeah this lady named Sharla is going to come out here and do something for the veterans and, and he got some trees and stuff you know he said what do you think? I thought it was a grand idea you know I said man that'd be great man let's Let's get together with her. Let's, let's see what we can do with this, you know. And then the first time she came with the trees, it was fantastic. They had it all set up with the tables, the different trees, the different ornaments and stuff. And I was like, wow, you know. And I was excited about it because Christmas, it didn't mean anything to me anymore because I was homeless. and. Christmas, uh, you know, it's just another day, really. You know, I didn't, I didn't have the Christmas spirit. I didn't feel Christmas, and uh, turned around that uh, a lot of the veterans that were in the program, they felt the same way. You should see the faces. You should see the smiling, and you know, they're just like, wow, you know, and got to do a tree, you know, they, and you know, they never did anything like that, you know, just put a tree together and put the ornaments on it the way they want it to look and you know it's 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 exciting to them it's fantastic it it, it brings a lot of joy 
you know, and his joy catches and it brings a lot of joy. My name is Heather Harris and I'm the program coordinator at Military Women in Need. It is the mission of Military Women in Need to prevent homelessness among both our female veterans living alone or with minor children, as well as our survivors of veterans, meaning the widows of those who had served and are now deceased. Joy Catchers actually was introduced to us by mutual contact. And through that contact, um, Charlotte and I began talking and discussing the mission of Joy Catchers and how she would like to reach out to more veteran organizations. And Military Women in Need being an organization that services female veterans, it was actually a perfect fit. We were able to provide our emotional support in a unique way. Um, one particular story is actually of a Army survivor. She's 92 years old now. I brought the tree over and first she placed it on her dining room table. And she kept kind of getting distracted by it and saying how beautiful it was and how gorgeous it was. And she kept kind of staring at it and then she picked up the tree and decided to move it. And she kind of shuffles, so she's like shuffling and moving the tree and she placed it on a table next to her pictures of her deceased parents, her mother and father, so that they can enjoy the tree too. The partnership with Joy Catchers means that we're able to better the lives of other people. I mean, I think both Military Women in Need and Joy Catchers share that mutual goal, which is improving the lives of others. Hi, I'm Leslie Zuchek, and I'm a social worker at Wilshire Hospice. I've been with Wilshire Hospice for about six years now, and I also work for the Wilshire Home Health. I first met Charla, I found out about Joy Catchers in 2007 at a uh, volunteer fair and I was recruiting volunteers at the time I was a volunteer coordinator and when I met Charla we just and she started telling me about the Joy Catchers I immediately got very excited and we both kind of fed off of each other in excitement and so um, that was the beginning of our relationship with Joy Catchers and it's been a wonderful experience. I've started off receiving the trees from Sharla and then going out and um, giving them to the nurses and staff to deliver and then later I was able to start helping with the decorations which was really wonderful and then I started delivering them to our patients and so I really got a good scope of how it all works and really spreading joy just throughout uh, not only for the patients but for the people that deliver and for the people that make the you know decorate the trees hi my name is Mary Good and I'm with Wilshire Hospice and I'm the volunteer coordinator I think that joy catchers is a very apt name because the the amount of joy and creativity that goes into the trees because of all the the decorations that are here, all the, and also the spirit of creativity among a house full of volunteers making the trees, all the different colors, and the the you know just the creativity of the trees is so inspiring, and and then knowing that the people who they're going out to in the homes, or the or the nursing homes, may not otherwise have a tree. It might be something that really buoys them up at this at the holiday time of the year. So it truly is a way of catching and spreading joy. There was an, one elderly woman who was homebound and couldn't get out and was really kind of depressed and didn't even want to see the nurse and just felt like, just leave me alone. I just want to die. I don't, you know, don't waste your time with me. And then the nurse presented her with the tree and it just, the transformation on the woman's face, she, she just became beaming and she um, did a little rendition of We Wish You a Merry Christmas and it was just, the nurse just said it was such a turnaround of, you know, from being despondent to being joyful, really yeah. catching the joy catchers idea. Well, my name is Terry, and um, you just spoke with my husband, Leon, and we've been married 21 years. Um, he came to New Directions in 2007, and I was still in my, um, my addiction. 
And so he did like 15 months there and came back to where I was and told me about the women's program for New Directions. The women's house is much smaller than the men's house. The men have maybe 150, 200 men as opposed to the women's house and it's just 13 women veterans. And when I was in the house, we were taking dependents of veterans and now we're not, we're just taking veterans. So um, it's a beautiful thing though, oh my God. To see the faces light up and I light up too because I enjoy Christmas. Oh, I'm from a large family. I've always enjoyed Christmas. Christmas is like the best part of the year. And to be so, <laughs> um, I don't know, um, to recreate your life at Christmas time with joy catchers is the best part of the Christmas deal. You know, it really is the best part because you get to see <sighs> grown people become kids and enjoy the giving of it, you know? It's like, wow. These women go through the year picking out ornaments, picking out trees, and bring them to us so that we can give them to somebody else. Nothing like it, nothing like it. Awesome deal. Joy Catchers is successful for one reason and one reason only, and that is because of the people. People who donate their time, people who share their experiences, their knowledge, their talents, people who donate items, trees, ornaments, and give of their money so that we can purchase the trees and decorations that we need for the Joy Catchers trees. So many things go into preparing for the tree trimming activities, which are behind the scenes and are all thanks to many volunteers. All of this comes together to create joy for the recipients. Hi, my name is Linda. I first met Joy Catchers uh, by a telephone message left on my desk at work one day, and it said, if you're interested in trees, call this lady. So I called her and she told me about Joy Catchers and wanted to know if I had a program uh, that I might be able to use her trees uh, for clients. And absolutely, I absolutely did. Seniors love every little thing you can bring to them. Some of them don't have the family support that others have. Some live on very minimal incomes and so they appreciate whatever they can get. Um, especially through the holidays. Charlotte made arrangements to bring her trees by and I had no idea what they would look like or what it was all about other than that she had these to pass around. The trees were just beyond beautiful. Every tree was different, different colors, different ornaments, different types of trees, different sizes of trees. You could have a hundred trees in the room and you wouldn't find one that was a duplicate. I did deliver the trees to each of the clients personally because I knew my clients and they opened the doors. They were curious like a child on Christmas morning, like, oh, what did you bring me? Sometimes they don't know what to say. They're just totally taken back by the whole experience and then the letter might come back later. They'll write a letter or call you on the phone days later to tell you how they were feeling and how they've been feeling since they got it. And when I saw them the following Christmas, there was that tree sitting in their living room. So it was nice to know that it was something that they enjoyed enough and they cared about and they wanted to have it come out. And some even told me, I never put it away all year. I've been enjoying it every day. So that was very special too. This is now my seventh year with helping uh, do trees with Joy Catcher. And I think the volunteers who all come and do this, they get as much out of it by the experience. It's sort of like you find your inner child that maybe with living life you kind of forget about and it's kind of like we we're going to do trees today or this weekend the joy the joy catchers bring i have to say it's truly priceless and 
it really is priceless pretty much because everybody donates their time and a lot of people donate a lot of the materials and it really comes from the heart of all the people who are involved. And it's contagious because people who leave go tell a friend and they tell a friend and then the next year it's doubled and Sharla is trying to squeeze in extra days and extra long sessions to, uh, to make sure that everybody gets that opportunity to help and be a part of Joy Catchers. Since 2006, Joy Catchers has been giving trees to bring joy to adults, one tree at a time. We started with 20 volunteers decorating 35 trees for two convalescent hospitals and one woman whose father had recently passed away. Over the years, we've grown to sending out over 550 trees to more than 22 nonprofit organizations who give them to their veterans, seniors, and adults that they serve. And we now have over 100 volunteers that come to decorate the trees here. We take the project out to two nonprofit organizations for their veterans and seniors to decorate their own trees for another 80 volunteers.